Good morning, folks. Interesting enhanced color shot of Mount Etna's eruption a few days ago. You might remember we were showing the flow on Alan Heath's YouTube channel. Got a terrific article linked below about alpha waves in the solar wind. Indian buoy here is broken. In the span of moments, this buoy lost almost all readings of ocean depth. Folks, it couldn't even sink this fast. This graphic from NOAA shows the hot and cold anomaly for January was the ninth hottest on record. Cyclone Haruna has made landfall on southern Madagascar with winds over 100 miles per hour and a well-defined eye. Sorry to be a homer once again, but apart from the cyclone, this is the primary weather story. We have over a foot of snow already in some parts of the central U.S. There is so much more coming. This thing started dropping tornadoes last night as the rain, lightning, and hail battered southern residents. The cell is headed for the Great Lakes with one southward protruding low pressure connection, and the wind map shows that convergence, meaning the southern edge will see bad weather again tonight. Solar wind metrics, all looking fairly steady as we exit a coronal hole stream. A few hours ago, we had an aesthetic event on the northeastern limb as a sizable filament released and caused a solar tsunami. You might remember an odd, isolated little umbral field had popped up there. Interestingly, it left with the filament. So when you see this at the end, the first signs of any umbral field filling the north of that coronal hole for weeks, and just as the megafilament above that coronal hole was reformed after sliding back into the sun a few days ago, he's now brought a sidekick with him on the left. I classified it as an aesthetic event because the eruptive CME is headed away from Earth, there was not a significant hydro flare, and the Earth footprint is not a factor. It's just pretty to look at. I'll end with a complete lack of flaring. Many of you are surprised because your precious mainstream news channels were chatting about the sun yesterday, these monster sunspots that could pop a big one this weekend. Well, this is from five days ago, when the sunspots were born. As you can see, they were born on their way out the door. And as I said two days ago, these are probably no longer dangerous, no longer news. Today, that is definitely true as they crest the limb and head out of sight. I and others like me have noticed the media waits until a specific solar threat is waning to tell us about it cry wolf much. Stay tuned for a very short introduction video to the solar shutdown. And for you news media solar fear mongers, NASA and the NSO joined the party worrying about the solar shutdown not long ago. And now we're getting more confirmation almost every day that the next ice age may be on our doorstep. Hope you have time to check it out. It's uploading right after this one. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.